Yes, you read the title right and you probably did not expect this, but I'm going to use Subway Surfers to explain how I graduated high school scoring in the top 0.05% of my entire country, as well as how I got into my dream course, Medicine, at the University of Melbourne. So this is about to be one of the weirdest things you're about to hear, but I promise it's also going to be one of the best. If you've ever played this game before, you know that it's about this kid trying to run away from this police dude, trying to get as far away as possible. But in this case, this represents you a student on the path of improving themselves, trying to get as high grades as possible, as well as trying to dodge all the obstacles along the way. Now, what about this police guy that's chasing you all the time? Well, this represents everything that's trying to stop you from achieving what you want. So procrastination, social media companies, TikTok, junk food companies that pump addictive chemicals into foods, all these bad habits. And all of this are just patiently waiting and chasing after you, waiting for you to trip and fall so they can hook you up onto their substances or platforms. And if you've watched some of my earlier videos, you would know that one of the reasons why I was basically failing in school back in year eight was because I was constantly being held back by my video game addiction, Clash Clans. And it was only when I changed my mindset did I actually start to make any progress. Okay, but what mindset in particular? Well, the mindset is about how most people, when they set goals, they just think about all the things they need to do to achieve their goals, which is great, awesome, great first step. But to make it more effective, and this is something I've learned from Andrew Huberman, is that you should also try and think of all the ways that you might not achieve your goal. It could be procrastination or video games for me, but this is all represented by this police guy right here. So whatever you do, make sure you're always one step ahead of this fat police dude. Now, you keep running, running, running on the train tracks, and occasionally you come across these powers that help you get points much more effectively. And so this is actually the exact same in studying. You'll come across certain things that will greatly boost the efficiency at which you study. And so you'll get higher grades more easily and more effortlessly. So I tried to match some of these up, so hopefully they make more sense. But in Subway Surfers, there's basically this 2x multiplier, which in the game means you get two times the score that you would normally get. If there's one thing in studying that will actually 2x the rate at which you study, and it's often overlooked, it's intermittent fasting. Now you can go into the specifics of this type of fasting, but for me getting started, the most effective way was to just not eat that much before I study. And you can try this on yourself. You can try studying in the morning where you haven't eaten that much. And then you can try studying right after you had a massive lunch and you can notice an incredible difference. And I find that I'm always more on point if I haven't had that much to eat right before. The next power that you see are super sneakers. And this is basically where the kid usually runs on the ground, but with these sneakers, it allows the character to jump much higher than usual. Running on the ground is slow, it's inefficient. This is like passive learning techniques, like reading a textbook. And then with these super sneakers that allow you to jump much higher, this is like active learning techniques. And most people overcomplicate active recall, active learning techniques. But basically what it means for you is to just do more questions and do it as frequently and as early as possible. And a lot of people seem to think that you should only do questions right before exams, but that's completely wrong. Because if you start doing questions as soon as possible, you get used to the style of exam questions as early as possible. And that is obviously going to give you a massive edge, especially when it comes to busy periods of the year. And then as a bit of a bonus tip, when you're doing these questions, regardless if it's exam questions or textbook questions, any question you get wrong, it is such a good idea to write all these questions in a notebook. And this is what I had. I had like an error notebook where I would write down all the questions I got wrong. And so before a test or an exam, that's exactly what I would review. And that was much more effective than going through all my notes. Now, my favorite superpower in Subway Surfers has to be the jetpack which basically allows you to glide through the air and you bypass everything on the ground. And if there's one thing in studying that allows you to just glide through everything so it doesn't feel like a chore, it's getting into the flow state. You've probably heard things about the flow state before, like it's a safe way you just lose all sense of time, but how do we exactly go about it? Well, the first step is to break down the huge tasks that we have into smaller, more digestible chunks. So if you have a whole essay due, rather than looking at it as a whole essay, I would just think about, okay, I need to finish the first paragraph today. And that way you're less likely to feel overwhelmed and you're more likely to actually start. And then honestly, it's just about taking level zero precautions. So turning your plane, turning your phone into airplane mode, lock yourself in a room, make sure there's no guy yelling downstairs that's gonna distract you or put on some headphones so you can block out all the noise. And then you'll be surprised if you just sit at your desk 
with none of these distractions on your side, you'll find it so easy to actually study because there's nothing else to do. There's nothing else to distract you. So you're left with the only option that's not boredom, which is to actually get to work. Now, the final thing I wanna say is if you've played Subway Surfers for a bit of a while now, you probably know that the game itself isn't that hard. It's actually quite simple. The rules are just swiping left or swiping right. Yes, it does get a bit faster, but overall the rules still stay the same, swiping left or right or jumping. And in a nutshell, that's exactly what studying is. It's basically Subway Surfers. It's very simple, the actions you have to take but these actions are very difficult to carry out in the long term. So if you put a gun to my head and ask me what's the best way to get high grades, and this is exactly what I did, it's just two things, making notes and then doing questions and repeat. And obviously you can go about this in your own way, but the point here is that everyone knows deep down what they should be doing. They know they should write that essay, make those flashcards, do those questions, but it's just very difficult to do. And especially difficult to do over the long term, over an entire year. But that is the sole separator between average students and the very top students. For example, after a very long, tiring day of school, there's tensions in your friendship group, you're pissed off, you're angry, you're in a very bad mood. Are you gonna study that day? Maybe, maybe not. A few days later, it's raining, you have to walk back home, so you're completely soaked, you're also extremely hungry. When you get back home, are you likely to study? What about another few days later? You had a late night, you're sleep deprived, there's a new YouTube video that you wanna watch, are you gonna study then? And before you know it, you skip days here and there, and eventually, your exams next week. There's going to be a guy in school that's not as disciplined as you and he's going to skip all those days that we talked about before. And it seems like it's insignificant, but over time, this is what it looks like. But if you study even when you don't feel like it and you don't miss those days, over a long enough time span, which is realistically only a few months or one year, this will be you. So if there's one thing you get from this video and Subway Surfers, it's that there's no secret study technique that's ultimately going to increase your grades by 100%. But rather, amazing results just come from doing ordinary things for extraordinary periods of time. All right, take care.